Hey guys, welcome back to the another video from R3 Gaming. This is your friend Rankish3 and a very good morning to all of you. So have you ever wondered that what's gonna happen if you change your laptop or a PC um, to another one? Probably um, you're going to upgrade your one of the systems in near future. And what happens to your OBS settings and everything? You're probably gonna lose it. Since we are not working on Streamlabs OBS, where you have an option of record, uh, you know, taking a backup of all your scenes, sources, and whole settings. So there is a problem with an OBS Studio that in case you change the system or you change your PC, so you might lose all your scenes and setting and sources, and it is a lot of job to do again. So today we are going to learn in this video that how we can ensure that we doesn't lose all those settings and we have a backup of that. So please be tuned in, tune in to this video and yes if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe, like and press the bell icon so that you get my videos updated regularly. See you soon. So we are back into the video and today we are going to learn that how we can ensure that we don't lose our scenes and sources and the whole system uh, OBS settings just in case we need to upgrade our PC or there is a crash down due to which we might uh, lose all of our data. So it's really very simple with OBS studio though we don't get an option of like a cloud backup or, or you know having some sort of backup but there is a possibility where you can ensure that you don't lose your data and it's really very simple so i'm going to show you today just in a couple of seconds how to do that but so before i do that i'll show you what all sources and scenes i have so if you see i have created a lot of scenes over here, like for tutorials i have made this and then there is scene two in case i just want to keep a blank screen so for my uh, live gaming, I made this intro scene and then if I want to go to live, start uh, playing my game, I go to this scene and then there is a end scene also. Um, and then these, they are basically some um, test scenes which I created over the period of time just for the sake of making these videos. As you can see, I have a lot of scenes which I have created and in case I need to do all, all these sort of things again it will be a very tedious task for me or for anybody else who is making videos regularly so what we can do today is that we're going to ensure that we can have a backup of all these and whenever there is a situation where I might lose all these settings or I am you know using a new PC I can just simply install all this uh, all these settings over there in just one click so what we are going to do is that we are going to click on scene selection and then we are going to do an export over here for the settings and scenes and the data of our OBS studio so we'll click export and we are going to create a file which is a JSON file format and we are going to save it at any location you want to so I'm going to save it on desktop it, it is you can name it anything I am just renaming it R3 Gaming and I'm going to save it so now if you see there is a R3 Gaming file saved over here so now what I'm going to simply do is that I'm going to delete all of my scenes because I'm confident that what I'm going to do is absolutely the best way to ensure that you have all your settings and data back in just a click. So I'm going to select all these scenes and I'm going to one, one by one I'm just going to delete all of them. So 
you see that I am just simply deleting all of these scenes and it is saying you just need you there need to be at least one scene okay so for the sake of having a uh, one scene I'm just creating a new scene over here by the name of scene 2 and I'm clicking the one which I've made earlier and I'm going to delete it okay so I've deleted it now it is as like a fresh OBS studio you don't have anything uh, you know pre-installed into this all of your old settings as scenes and sources has gone now so what we are going to do is that we are again going to go to the scene collection and we are going to import and you are going to go to the desktop where you have saved that file so I'm going to click that file again and I'm going to select it and I'm going to open it and once we have clicked it then we are going to go and select our three gamings to and you can see that we have <clears throat> all of our settings all of our uh, scenes back again so basically what is happening that you exported all of your settings and everything uh, as a backup and you saved it at a place whatever place you want to and then you just imported all of those backup files to your OBS so it is as simple as that so now in case you ever want to change your PC or system you don't have to worry about anything losing from your settings you can just simply create a backup of all your scenes and sources keep it as a slave uh, keep it at a, at a safe place where you can just use it whenever you like it and it's a very small file I'm not really sure what's the size but I believe it's really small size because it doesn't take a lot of space actually so you can see it's just 72 kilobytes on my system that's really very small size and 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 you will get all of your settings and data back so I hope you guys like this video so before my video ends here is my subscriber appeal once again please don't forget to subscribe my channel you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter also where I keep updating these informations about these videos which I post. Also, um, you can like and if you have any questions related to any of my streams uh, or videos, feel free to put it in the comment section. I always reply to everybody and I hope to see you soon. Once again, take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.